Vice President uh, Joe Biden uh, now denying allegations of sexual assault from former staffer Tara Reid. Biden campaign just released a statement moments ago saying, quote, so I want to address allegations by a former staffer that I engaged in misconduct 27 years ago. They aren't true. This never happened. While the details of these allegations of sexual harassment and sexual assault are complicated, two things are not complicated. One is that women deserve to be treated with dignity and respect, and when they step forward, they should be heard, not silenced. The second is that their story should be subject to appropriate inquiry and scrutiny. 20 minutes before the top of the hour, let's bring in Pete Hegseth, Fox & Friends weekend co-host and author of the upcoming book, American Crusade. Pete, good morning hey, to guys. you. What do you think? Good morning. Well, uh, he talks about appropriate scrutiny, yet you can only imagine what would have happened if this was a Republican challenger to a Democrat sitting president and how much scrutiny in the era of Me Too would have gone on. Instead, it has been no coverage. I mean, turn the channel, look around. Almost no coverage of Tara Reid's allegations and Vice President Biden. And when it is, it's written like an exoneration. So from, from this case to the Michael Flynn case, it's, it is glaring examples of how the Democrat media is willing to cover up for anyone that they're for. And this is supposed to be a Me Too, mov Me Too movement moment. Instead, you find members of that movement finding ways to explain away these allegations against Joe Biden, which are far more credible than what were faced against Justice Kavanaugh. And frankly, Tara Reid's a Democrat. She's been wanting to not go on Fox News, but go on somewhere else that's seen as, quote, middle, so that she can doesn't get pigeonholed as someone who's doing this for partisan reasons. Um, in this statement, he goes on to say, if it's anywhere, if the complaint she filed is anywhere, it's in the National Archive, and they should open that up and find it. We'll see if that happens. I'm sure the New York Times isn't running to do that. So this is, a, again, a, a totally unbalanced story. Story. I want to hear Joe Biden in his own words from someone who actually presses him. Uh, we'll see if he ever has to answer a question at all, which he hasn't been asked yet. Well, uh, yeah, a couple of things, Pete. Uh, number one is uh, you have people say, well, all of Joe Biden's paperwork is at the University of Delaware, uh, and he could release that paperwork. But the problem is his staffers were in there going through those files a couple of weeks ago. Of so who knows what they did? They, I don't know if they did a Sandy Berger and jammed some stuff in their shorts, but we don't know if that's ever going to come clean. So I don't know. Is he inviting more scrutiny with that statement? These people need to be heard. Uh, uh, accusers need to be heard. So is he inviting? people to uh, hear from Tara Reid. Uh, it's going to be I, interesting I, uh, to he see should where be. this goes. He should, he should be. We'll see where it goes. But it, by flatly denying it, he's saying what she's saying is a lie, which makes it a he said, she said. And we know the national media, they're going to back their boy, Joe Biden, uh, in, even though this uh, allegation seems to at least be worth vetting in a serious way. Um, and, and again, it just makes the, our skin crawl and blood boil considering what was done to Justice Kavanaugh on something that was so, uh, so much more loosely, uh, the allegations were so much more loosely put together than what Tara Reid is saying here. What happens next, though, Pete? I mean, the president was saying, look, I've been, uh, there have been allegations against me. And he said, I think um, both sides need to be heard. Statue of limitations, mm -hmm. I think, has already expired on this one. So Tara Reid, I don't think she can, she can press charges on this. So where do we go from here? How do we find out the truth? I don't know if we I don't know if we ever do find out the truth. That's the problem with this this movement that's occurred where allegations that can't be corroborated are immediately under should be under scrutiny and examined and yet there's no way to prove it and you you're always questioning the motives of the person making the allegation even though you shouldn't be because everyone should be listened to as was talked about. I, I just for me it doesn't feel like a fair examination considering what's done to Republicans. So it all depends on what Democrats do, whether the party actually is willing to listen to Tara Reid and whether the media is actually willing to take it seriously. And it doesn't appear to me that they will. Listen, they want Joe Biden to be president. So they will forgive almost anything as long as he says the right things in a statement. Again, this is a statement, not on camera. He can't put three sentences together. What happens if someone actually presses him with follow-up questions and evidence? Did you know her? Did you? 
we don't know what would happen there. I'd be surprised if he submits himself to it because he hasn't he hasn't held up very well under any scrutiny. Uh, actually, yeah. So I think Pete, he when might you be look doing at when today. you look at the politics of I, it. Well, we'll see if he's doing that today, Brian. Which I've heard the same reports. Is he going to a friendly place where they're going to toss some softball questions and there'll be almost no follow-up? That's very different than sitting down with a, to a cross-examination, which other people have had to do in the past. All right. Uh, by the way, you can check out American Crusade on Fox Nation right now. If you don't have it, go to foxnation.com and check it out. Uh, you've got a lot going on there, don't you, Pete? Hey, we got it's May 1st. Huge, exciting initiative we're announcing today on Fox and Friends. If you want a year subscription of Fox Nation, you've been waiting to do it. If you do it this month, in the month of May, you can get a signed Fox Nation edition of my new book, American Crusade, along with it. So listen, we're stuck at home. We need things to watch. Fox Nation is the per perfect place. You guys all have great shows on Fox Nation. I have some on there as well. Buy, buy Fox Nation for a year, get American Crusade. So if you've been wanting Fox Nation, American Crusade's a bonus. If you've been wanting the book, get the book and get Fox Nation as a bonus. And I signed them all myself. It's a special Fox Nation edition all through the month of May. So a good reason to get Fox Nation, uh, a whole nother library of things to watch right. that you're not getting right now if you don't have it. Right, Pete Hagseth will be hosting this weekend. He's got a great roster of guests. He'll be wearing a tie on the weekend. He wore a tie for the photo shoot for Fox Nation, but he does I'll not wear too. a tie for Fox and Friends on Friday. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's a big scandal. We'll see. My apologies, All right, Brian. Pete, My uh, apologies. I hear great things about the book. You know, it's, I forgive you. 